attend castings if you can't attend castings you don't get jobs honey you don't get jobs and you don't get jobs what salary do you get <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, please go ahead and be yummified and be part of our yummy fam by clicking the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a video. So today I thought I should just do basically a follow up on the previous modeling video in terms of how I became a curve model, right? and to just help you with your journey as well. So on the previous video, which I'm gonna link here or there, <laughs> um, I spoke about my journey and how I did it. But I mean, journeys are different and having learned through my experience, I thought I should come and share that with you, okay? So I'm gonna basically be chatting to you about how I can help you do it on an easy route I mean why not spilling the tea sharing the fruits of the tree if, if there's even such a thing but you know yeah so that's what I'm gonna be doing um, because sharing is caring and just because it, I share information doesn't mean it's gonna take anything away from me honestly if it's meant for you like I said it will be for you Nothing meant for you well. So let's get right into it. So if you want to hear all things about how do you get into plus size modeling or any type of modeling because there are different types of model um, categories. Um, so let's get right into it. <laughs> first if you want to be a model any type of model it could be commercial model it could be fashion model literally any type of modeling you need to be comfortable in front of the camera so what does that mean it means you need to be taking pictures like all the time so much so that it's second nature to you this is because when you go for castings and castings are basically auditions for you to get into a specific um, role or get into a specific magazine or commercial etc so it is to avoid you being stuck on what to do when they tell you okay please smile or please smile or please turn this way and then um you get awkward and you get shy so you want to just cut all of that out first things first how do you do that you take pictures all the time um and not just any type of pictures like you're not going to be like I don't even know what this means but like you need to be like natural like you need to know what type of poses to do you know uh, maybe I could do a video on what type of poses you could do uh, when you especially when you go for um, castings you know the specific poses that you do generally when you go for a cast things that they expect you to do sometimes they even expect you to dance because the commercial would exp will will be a movement commercial you know sharp so be comfortable in front of the camera first things first number two so you'd want to know what do you do next once you're comfortable in front of the camera okay cool now you've got your poses you've got your angles you're very comfortable in front of the camera two you apply to become a model right obviously there's certain restrictions and certain uh vibes and looks that every agency goes for I'm not gonna know that so you're gonna have to go to every agency and <laughs> and basically see where you fit in uh, sometimes you could feel like you based on the type of people that are there you feel more uh, inclined to be 
at that uh, agency or not you know there's it's not just about just getting to an agency because you know even when you're applying for a job in as much as they need you no in as much as you need them they need you as well so don't don't look down on yourself and think ah oh, okay whatever agency comes i'm just gonna take it there's a whole lot of them and the easiest way to find them is listen very carefully google www.google.co.za modeling agencies in Durban, in Joburg, in Cape Town, in but unfortunately some places don't have agencies yeah so what do you do at that point it's either you move to Cape Town darling where a variety of agencies are or um, you don't and you won't have an agency <laughs> jokes let me tell you what you can do if you're in a different city if you're like really really bomb supermodel type of vibe and everyone wants you um even any agency will basically want you so you can basically contact them and get into contact with them and they can sign you wherever you are but now the only issue would be that um if uh, a client doesn't know you and they want to see you the whole traveling thing for cost things and not being guaranteed if, you, if you're going to get it or not would be difficult you know um so you want to tap into looking at you want to look at um if that is going to be something that you're going to be able to do right sure <laughs> So how do you apply? Number three is how do you apply? So you've Googled agencies in wherever you are, right? And then you find there's a whole lot. Like for instance, when you go, when you in Cape Town, um, there's talent agencies as well, which means that for those who can sing, who can dance, who can act, um, who also can be part of commercials, uh mostly inclined to be signed with those specific model, uh, modeling agencies you know so um so you need to look into what type of agency that you want to be associated with you know and that will determine the next step of what you do next sharp so once you've done that let's say you select uh modeling agency a modeling agency a um says okay cool they all have a specific um requirement which is you need to basically take pictures on, on a plain background where you're wearing usually a jean or tight fitting pants and a top plain top black or white and then you take pictures with your face, polaroids, and on the side, side, and the back, full, and then full pictures, side, side as well. Those you need to have forever. Basically, if you you are on the search for a modeling agency, just have those um, set and done. You can do those on your phone. You don't need any expensive um, camera or equipment just ask your friend to help you out with those once you have those you know okay cool uh you fill out your name your surname i'm gonna try and see if i can use any example of any agency while i'm um i'm talking here and then just put it here i uh, fill out your name your surname and details of where you stay what you can do with the talent agency can you sing can you move can you dance whatever can you act your height you need to know your height as well uh the color of your eyes the color of your hair also you need got for black girls you're gonna need to be very consistent with the type of hair that you have so if you're gonna put the afro then they need to sing you an afro for the rest of your modeling career uh, yeah, and then um, after that, they'll basically reply to you and they'll either say, come, we want to see you or that they have already have that look. That is the very generic thing that they're very much inclined to do. So you already know it's either they'll say that come through or, or that they have the look. So if they say come through, fantastic 
now you're going to step four shop going to the agency make sure that you look exactly like you did on those pictures that you took and you sent to them okay shop and then um they'll call you in you go on that day you look exactly like you look there they'll talk to you you know it's not just about the looks i guess some agency do want to see like what type of person that you are if you said you can act they'll probably ask you to um show them a few you know examples of your acting or your singing and then once that's done obviously then they follow their own processes internal processes of signing you up so a few things i mean can happen at that point they can tell you about well, okay no we like you uh do this some tell you to change your look and it could be weight or it could be your hair you know it could be your nails that they don't like the color of your nails etc etc so uh it really depends on what they're about right and then after that <laughs> Is where they will basically take you through the process of signing you and through doing that you need to have a portfolio right so they would have taken their own internal Polaroids exact pictures that you took but maybe with a bad a better camera and then once those are done it's your portfolio time portfolio time when it comes to your portfolio you need to have money you need to have lots and lots of money. <laughs> I wish I was joking, but no, you do. Because this is where they work on your look. If they felt, ah, they don't feel the braids that you have, they say, okay, do a different color or wear your natural hair. They like your natural hair or they want you in a weave. So you need to make sure that you invest in exactly that, whatever they want. And then depending on your agency, usually... They would either have a stylist and a photographer obviously they'll have a photographer and then the stylist will go source out clothes for you and you set up a date where once you've collected everything that you need you set up a date for the shooting um of your portfolio shop once that's done you go around whatever place that you're in in cape town you'll probably be around the city um by the garden you know taking different shots the beach etc so obviously you change into different looks from doing that once that's done you sign sales delivered keep it moving let's go <laughs> and then you have a portfolio a portfolio would be this thick uh book where your photos will be printed and you'll be expected to run around because with modeling you run around you ever know? So be ready to run around, um, run around uh, getting your pictures um, sorted and then um, packed into that uh, portfolio book. And they'll also create a Z card for you, a Z or Z card, which basically is a small onion card. I wish I had mine here, but mine finished. Those cards you use when you go for um, castings or auditions where you'll give it out it says your details it shows some of the pictures that you took when you were um taking shots for your portfolio and then you're done that's signed sales delivered after that it's crunch time it's work time you gotta move you gotta attend castings if you can't attend castings you don't get jobs honey you don't get jobs and you don't get jobs what salary do you get you don't get jobs <laughs> how many jobs do you have Woo. yeah so yeah that's basically how you get signed generally but a few tips that i can give is if you can be able to go to the agency and meet them in person instead of doing the application online then please do that it will save you so much time so much energy do that and meet them just where uh, the description as I had said earlier dress like that and then go meet with them schedule a meeting or do a What do you call it when you're not invited and then you yeah, whatever that thing is. Yeah, do that um, And what else can you do to yeah? 
that is the best thing that you can do is to just barge in man and be like yo this is who i am this is why sometimes also check out the pages once you've googled the agency check out their social me media pages because they do advertise uh, open calls and open call is when anyone and everyone can come where they're looking for new looks new people and that's the time where you can shine i say go do your thing and make sure that you steal the shine <laughs> so you can be noticed <laughs> yeah but then again if it's been for you it will be for you i've known people who were rejected by agency a but agency b like them or agency a rejects them rejects them for like years but then on year five they get accepted so it's really about it being the perfect time and it being for you at that specific moment you know or it could have been that you change something about yourself and you're like oh actually we like that yeah so those are the tips i can give you guys all the best if you have any more questions please link them down or list them down below and i'll definitely attend to them um maybe the next one i'll do um would be more on um going to a casting what happens on that day how you need to get ready etc because whoa sis i struggled with that and how it looks when you especially when you're working which isn't really recommended for you to do but eh, get life recurring. i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and please subscribe please please subscribe i really appreciate your love so far thank you so much do share it with your friends family especially those who really want to get into modeling and be jolly be merry be yummy fight subscribe